Hello everyone and welcome back to Storky Form Said. So I have the most interesting thing to talk to you about today. So we bred our three and a half year old buck. That is a male rabbit to four females. Now we bred him about September 5th, waited a couple of days on the 8th, bred him again. And what we noticed was come October, no babies, not one doe took so Stephen and I were talking and we were we were discussing whether or not he had gone sterile or he was too old well we swung by a friend's house who helped us get into rabbits three and a half years ago and he was who we bought our starter set from and what Eddie told us was now this is really cool and you're going to want to learn it rabbits have a miss date it's kind of something that happens worldwide. When you're first moving into fall, males and females both do what they call a miss. They simply don't take. So this is one of our moms back here that is a really pretty good mother and we really expected a nice litter, no babies. We're five days past her due date and she's simply not pregnant and she's not the only one. So he pulled out his notebook because he has a whole lot more rabbits than we do. And what Eddie showed us was like 13 different does that had been bred by four different bucks over a one week period. And only like three of those actually took, which means he had to rebreed 10 does a month later when he realized they weren't pregnant. And he said he gets a lot of phone calls at this time of year where people are like, hey, I bred my rabbit, rabbits in September, October, November, and nobody got pregnant, so I think something's wrong with the buck. And what he was telling us, there's just, for some reason, this time of year when the weather begins to change, they simply don't take. So I thought that was really interesting, and I wanted to tell you that because I know a lot of people will cull their buck or they'll get a new one if they breed a bunch of females and none of them get pregnant and you're like, yep, yeah, that's, you know, I know this female can do it. So it's not the doe, it's gotta be the buck. He said, rebreed. It's not that your buck all of a sudden went sterile. If he was breeding in the summer and having successful litters, then you breed him in September or October and nothing happens, it's not your buck. It's simply the changing of the weather. He said it is a phenomenon that happens worldwide and he gets more calls at this time of year with people panicking, wanting a new buck because their does didn't take. Because that was actually what Steven and I were doing. Well, maybe we need a new buck. You know, we've never really had this happen where we had four females not get pregnant. So he must be too old. And Eddie showed us a male rabbit, a buck that was seven years old still being a successful breeder in his program. So I really hope that helps you. If you've had a rabbit that has always been successful in breeding to your does and you bred them in September or October and you didn't get any babies, do not cull him, give him another chance. Especially if he's healthy. Like if, if you know he doesn't have any health problems, um, you know, you, you don't have any disease, no sores. There's really nothing going on with him. There's no reason why he should not have been successful in his breeding. Don't cull him. Give him another shot. So I wanted to share that with you guys. That's actually what Steven's doing back here behind me is rebreeding the female.